evening, everybody. It's 20 and under. Now let's put our hands together and welcome the contestants. We have with us in the studio the winners for the Grand All-Star Show. Those contestants who have won their preliminary rounds for the past weeks, congratulations to them all. And now for our first contestant. Yes, my dear. What is your name? Gracie Jones and... No, no, no. Don't be afraid. Speak up, my dear. Gracie Jones. Gracie Jones. What a beautiful name. Are you related to Cleopatra Jones? Yes, Auntie May. And what is she to you? She is my tante, Auntie May. Now, isn't that wonderful? Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> How old are you, Gracie? 18 years of old, Auntie May. <laughs> you mean 18 years of age, my dear. Sorry, Auntie May. And what are you going to do for us? Recite, Auntie May. And what are you going to recite? He tried me. A beautiful poem, my dear. Ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant, Gracie Jones, with the poem, He Tried Me. He tried me on the sofa. He tried me on the chair. He tried me on the windowsill, but he could not get it there. He tried me lying on a couch. I stood against a wall. I even sat up on the floor, but it did not work at all. He tried me this way and he tried me that way. Oh golly, how I laughed to see how many ways he tried to take my photograph. Our second contestant would not be with us this evening. While on her way to the studio, she threw an empty carton through the window of the vehicle and was arrested for littering. So sorry about that, but all of you must remember not to litter. And in order not to disappoint you, we'll now have our first non-contestant. Yes, sweetheart. Now, you understand the rules. You are here because someone couldn't make it. You will be participating but not competing. Do you understand? Yes, Auntie May. Okay, so what is your name, my dear? Sherry. Sherry, what a sweet name. And what's your title? White. Sherry White. And how old are you, Sherry White? I am 17 years of age, Auntie May. Beautiful. And what are you going to do for us? I am going to sing, Auntie May. And what's the name of your song? The name of my song is, It's Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White. Very appropriate. Sherry White is going to do a song, Sherry Pink and Apple Blossom White. <laughs> it's Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White. When your true lover comes your way, it's Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White. The poets say, the story goes that once a cherry tree beside an apple tree did grow, and there a boy once met his bride to be long, long ago. The boy looked into her eyes, it was a sight to enthrall. The breezes joined in the sight, and the blossoms started to fall. And as they gently caressed, the lovers looked up to find that the branches of the two trees were intertwined. And that is why the poet is always right when there's a new moon high above. It's cherry pink and apple blossom white when you are in love. Da 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 da
on this 20 and under all-star program. Yes, my dear, what is your name? June Bandy, Auntie May. June Bandy, and how old are you, June? 15 years of age, Auntie May. And what are you going to do for us? A dance, Auntie May. And what kind of dance are you going to dance? A calypso dance, Auntie May. Ladies and gentlemen, our third contestant, June Bandy, doing a calypso dance. <laughs> No, 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 don't cry, don't cry, don't, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Come on, come on, dry your eyes, don't cry. You'll be given another chance. Now listen to the music and start all over again. Music, please. is brought to you through the courtesy of the Locomatic Watch, the watch of the century. The Locomatic is anti-magnetic, anti-static, and anti-communist. The Locomatic is rust-proof, waterproof, shock-proof, time-proof, and burglar-proof. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Locomatic is indestructible. In other words, it simply means that you cannot mash it up, not even if you mash it. And to prove our claim is genuine, we have organized a little demonstration. I shall now drop the watch on the floor like this. And now I shall do the dragon dance on it. <laughs> Mad watch, remember our slogan, go automatic, buy a locomatic. Thank you. <laughs> we move on now to our fourth contestant on this 20 and under all-star program. Yes, my dear, what is your name? Livingston and Dimir. What Livingston? Jonathan Livingston, Auntie May. Jonathan Livingston. And how old are you, Jonathan? 18 years, Auntie May. And what are you going to do for us? I'm going to make songs, Auntie May. Songs or songs? Songs, Auntie May. The second one, Auntie May. Ladies and gentlemen, a fourth contestant, Jonathan Livingston, making animal songs. <laughs>
this evening. She has gone to collect her tickets for the comedy show this weekend. But in order not to disappoint you, we have our second non-contestant. And here he is. Yes, what is your name? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot he has taken a vow of silence, but he can communicate. Would you write your name in the palm of my hand? B R U C E. His name is Bruce. And what is your surname? B E E. Bruce B. And how old are you, Bruce? 16 years of age. And what are you going to do for us, Bruce? Oh dear me, uh, our second non-contestant is going to do Kung Fu fighting.
are hurting me. I felt every blow. We move on now to our sixth contestant on this 20 and under All-Star program. Yes, my dear, what is your name? Susie Small, Auntie May. Susie Small. I see you were born small, and no matter how big you become, you'll always be small. How old are you, Susie? 18 years of age, Auntie May. And what are you going to do for us? Sing. What's the name of your song? Teddy Bear. Polar Bear? No, Teddy Bear. Ah, yes, I know. My loving Teddy Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, our sixth contestant, Susie Small, with the song, Teddy Bear. Baby, let me be your loving teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck and lead me anywhere. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. I don't want to be your lion. Lions play too rough. I don't want to be your tiger. Tigers ain't the kind. You love enough. Just want to be your teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck. And leave me anywhere, oh, let me be your teddy bear. Oh, baby, let me be around you every night. Run your fingers through my hair and cuddle me real tight. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. I don't want to be your lion. Lions play too rough. I don't want to be your tiger. Tigers in the kind. You love enough. Just want to be. Your teddy bear, put a chain around my neck and lead me anywhere. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. I just want to be your teddy bear. That brings us to the end of 20 and under for this year. And while we await the results from our judges, We'll now have our guest artist, John Cogitation. This is your philosopher, John Cogitation, bringing you life and sensation through radio and television for your mental relaxation. Ha <laughs> ha! papa! Eh eh! Are you looking like a good audience, though? So I gotta give you some good ones. But listen, before I start a make joke and thing, let me tell all you what happened to me today. Serious business. Tell them, Papa. This morning, as all you know, cricket going on too bad. West Indies. This I sit down in front of the television now, looking at cricket match whole morning. I forget I had to carry the wife in the market. Anyhow, cricket going good. Up to 11, 12 o'clock, I look in that match. Next thing now, I know I have show to come and do for you this evening. So I say, let me have a good lunch. Sit down on the table, turn the papa. No lunch. Eh eh, I ask in the wife, where my lunch? She says she ain't cook nothing for me because I was looking at television the whole morning and me a cash in the market. Turn the papa. I say, me eh, coming down here to do no show for all you on Hungry Belly. So I decided to go to my favorite roti shop in Sandy Grandi. Roti hot! When I bounce in the place, I see a big sign up. Goat roti, $15. Shrimp roti, $14. Beef roti, $12. Chicken roti, $9. BWIA roti, $3. Turn up, Papa. I say, things are so good in the store these days. So I go up, buy a BWIA roti. But before I do that, I say, let me ask the lady in church. Miss Candice, excuse me. Can you tell me what is a BWIA roti? Mr. Cogitation, a big man like you don't know. A BWIA roti is a plain roti. <laughs> Eh, eh. But listen, joke is joke. Let me tell all you what happened last week. Last week, Saturday, strolling players have performance in San Fernando. Turn up, Papa. If you don't know San Fernando and you're born down there, you just get lost too bad. Yes, man. 
We have show in Presentation College Big Show. So I leave Sandy Grandy early. So I won't be hot and sweaty. When I read San Fernando looking for a presentation, I lost. I go up a high street, turn down a low street, go around the coffee, turn around by some cocoa, looking for a presentation, college tunnel, papa. It takes me about a half an hour to find the place. Well, eventually, Koji find presentation college where we're doing the show. When I reach there, presentation college have one big wall around it and I can't get in. I drive wrong once. I drive wrong twice. Can't get into presentation college. Turn up, Papa! I see a little fella lining on the side of the street. I say, maybe he could help me. So I say, little boy, excuse me. Can you tell me how to get into presentation college? He said, Uncle, you want to get into presentation college? I say, yes, son. I try to get into presentation college. Can you help me? He said, Uncle, a big man like you don't know to get into presentation college, you have to pass SE exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Tell your papa. Before Koji started to make joke, I used to be a school teacher, you know. Yes, man. I used to teach all the little children, six, seven, eight years old and thing. So one day, Koji decided to teach them how to make nursery rhyme. They say they don't know what I'm talking about. So I decided to give them an example. I say, okay. My name is John Cogitation. And in this class, I don't stand no botheration. They say, very good, they understand. So a little boy put up his hand. He said he could try. I said, go ahead, sir. He said, my name is Arnold. And when I grow up to be a man, I'd like to be a pilot. I say, very good, very good boy. A little girl says she go try. She say, my name is Mary. And when I grow up to be a lady, I plan to have a baby. I say, very good, very good. A little boy in the back of the class would have been He say, my name is Dan. And when I grow up to be a man, I want to have Mary, which he planned. <laughs> <laughs> were just handed to me by your three experienced judges. They are working voluntarily to improve the standard in this country. They receive no remuneration whatsoever. A round of applause for our judges. <laughs> the third place goes to the contestant who went to get the tickets for the show. The judges felt that if she had a chance to sing, she would come third. The second place goes to Peter Pilstrings, who reached the semi-finals but was taken ill suddenly and is now bedridden. The judges felt that he would have placed second with his indoor Afro dance. And the first place, would you believe it? All four contestants here tied for the first place with 937 and three quarter points each. Fantastic! Congratulations! Congratulations! This is so beautiful! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The sponsor just gave me this note from the coordinator, Mr. Uncertain Change Mind. It reads, the results just announced is now cancelled, is now null and void. The merit points of judge number one were placed under the score sheet of judge number two, and judge number three points were mixed up with judge number five, causing the points of judge number two and four to be readjusted, resulting in a complete miscalculation of points. But that error is now rectified, and we now have the new results for the grand all-star contest. They have decided to award four prizes, and this is a unanimous decision on their part. Yes, this is a big surprise for the fourth place. They have awarded yours truly, Auntie May, $500 for my little dance. <laughs> well, my dear judges, thank you very much. Mm. And now, the third prize of $1,000 goes to one of the judges, Miss Mavis Cheetah, who makes sure 
everything went fair and square. And the second prize will go to another judge, Mr. <laughs> Alexander Tatebribe, who labored to make sure everything went fair and square. And finally, the first prize in our grand all-star contest, a brand new second-hand car, an Austin Cambridge, goes to our chief judge, Miss <laughs> Barbara Pintief. <laughs> Sorry, my dears, the decision of the judges is final, final, final. And the truth is, they deserve it more than the contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, it had been discovered that all the contestants used wrong names and ages, and for that reason, they were all disqualified. So I want to say a big thank you to our contestants, a big thank you to our viewers, our judges. Thank you very much, and good night. 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 Good night.